Legacy Maker, the All Sports Network. This is Claire Holt with Legacy Maker Sports Network, and I'm signing out. I'm Justice Miller, Legacy Maker Thank Sports you. Network, with Claire Holt, number 12, senior guard for Richmond Spiders. Thank you for having me. No right. problem. Let's go ahead and start. So, who or what got you involved in basketball? Oh, uh, wow, I don't know. I think it has to be way back, because I probably started playing when I was five, like the right. earliest age you can play. I had an older brother, mm -hmm. and so we had a hoop in the driveway, and so that's how I got started playing with him. So he was your influence? Him and my dad are were both my influence, and we worked out together, and my dad's been my coach for years now. So oh, Yeah, I know all about that. Yeah, <laughs> that's the life. Um, being a senior, what is your leadership style? Oh, wow. Um, it's evolved a lot. I think now it's become... First, I'm really energetic, positive, bubbly. That comes naturally for me. I love I love to play, so I think that like passion comes through. Um, but one of the things that has given me like courage to be a good leader is just my work ethic. So I know people know that I work really hard. I'm in the gym a lot, so I feel like that kind of gave me the credibility to be more vocal or be more critical of my teammates if I needed to be. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think it's mostly positive and jumpy, and then like if I need to like have more constructive criticism, people would be more willing to take it because of the work ethic, reputation I've had. Right, you lead by example. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then what would you consider to be a perfect pregame meal? Ooh. Yeah, hard. I like this question. <laughs> um, you know, you don't want anything crazy for a pregame meal. Mm -hmm. You want it simple, you don't want it super heavy, and you got, it's all about the timing. Mm -hmm. And so what I like to do is salmon with um, like a mashed potato and broccoli. They serve salmon here? It's, yeah, we have oh. a choice of that and like um, sometimes grilled chicken or steak, we have like a choice usually. Yay. I know, it's nice. No, and so I'm great. very strategic. <laughs> we'll have like a roll. They, they started giving us like garlic bread and stuff and I had to tone that back a little bit because it was too good. I ate too oh. much. But yeah, salmon's probably my go-to. That's a different choice. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. Yeah, that's a good one. I was thinking junk food. <laughs> no, no, no Some of course just not. Don't care, no, know? I'm not. I used <laughs> to be like that, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. What would you? What are two songs? Actually, what are the first two songs you play on game day? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm a big Drake fan. I think that's a basic answer, but I love, I love Drake. Like I love his song, uh, "Nice for What." You mm -hmm. know. That one's like iconic jam. I think that's a basic answer, but it always it always does the job. That gets you hyped up. Yeah, like it gets me hyped. And then I don't know. Sometimes I like to listen to more. Like I like Future too. So um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe his most. I love the song March Madness. Oh. So that that's that's, good. that's always a hit. Yeah. I've done that since <laughs> high school. No, that since high school. Yeah, too? that's when it came out. So yeah. I was into it then. I I kept it around. Um, what are you majoring in currently? I'm majoring in computer science. Computer science? Yes, I know. Weird, right? No, it is yeah. weird. I think that team's <laughs> full of smart people. Yeah. What in the world? We all have unique majors, I think. So. What are you going to do with that when you get it out? Yeah, um, I'm going to work as a software engineer. So I got a job um, out in Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. So I'm moving to Denver. <gasps> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Oh my gosh, you are sick. Yes, I mean, yeah. prayed for it. But yeah, um, yeah, so I'm going to be a software engineer and and uh, do a lot of coding stuff. I'm really nerdy computer girl, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. But that's like where all the money is right now. Yeah. Everything's moved online, so. Yeah, it's been nice. It's been a nice transition out of college to be able to get a job, so I was grateful for that. Wow. Yeah. Well, big congrats to that. Yes, okay. thank you. No problem. Um, so what moment in this season did you feel the most like a team? Oh, man. Oh. Wow, we had some great like we had some really great home wins this year okay and um a few off the top of my head like we played LaSalle at home and 
have like a crazy first quarter, like hit everything. And I think I was there for that game. Oh, you really? Guys were going crazy. Every like every shot was going, <laughs> and it was everything. it was just like yeah, partially lucky and like way better than our normal shooting percentage. But we were just firing, and it was one of our school's red events, which means all the athletes like get to come and like they're supposed to come out and support. They so. showed everybody what was up. Yeah, so <laughs> the students came out and like. Um, we had lost to LaSalle earlier in the season and like we're upset by that and so I was so glad that we came out and just yeah, crushed it. Yeah, this was the game to crush them. Okay, guys, yeah. they showed out. Yeah, so that was fun. Coach Rossell, the type of coach that you love to play for? Um, coach Rossell has high expectations. Mm -hmm. I think that's what you want from a coach. Um, sometimes it can feel like tough love, but at the end of the day, you always want a coach that's playing to win. And he's always looking for what needs to be tweaked, what needs to be improved. He's a really, you can just tell he's a really smart, excuse me, he's a really smart guy. He knows basketball really well. Mm -hmm. And so um, you kind of just have to buy into his game plan. Okay. He's, he's a tough guy, but I mean, once you believe in him, I mean, he can take you there, so. He'll take you there. Yeah. Okay. Now that you are done. Yeah. Um, what do you want to be remembered for here at University of Virginia? <laughs> I know, I'm getting you all deep and in the field. I know. <laughs> it's sad, but yeah, wow. I've had such a great time here. I think what I like the most, or what I, I guess what I want to be remembered for is um, I try to play with a lot of energy. Okay. And so even on the bench, even when like my grandma watches every game and she, even when I'm not in, she'll watch every move I make on the bench. And I'm up and I'm cheering and I'm holding like the signs and like all of that stuff. So I'm just trying to like every time that I'm on the court on screen, like there's people watching, even if I don't feel like try to keep that energy up, mm -hmm. even with my teammates, like, you know, some people have a lot of ups and downs. I was trying to always be on that up or at least fake it till I, you know, make it. You heard that right. before. So yeah, definitely energy and just passion. I'm a really competitive person. And so I think that kind of brought some some of that same spirit out of my teammates too. So that for well, sure. Well, I definitely have seen it. Yeah. And that'll be something that I remember before. before. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Thank my you. final question for you is, what do you want to say to the fans that have been watching you over the past four years? Oh, yeah, this is a great question. <laughs> um, man, I just want to say that First of all, I'm so grateful for the opportunity to be here. Mm -hmm. It's turned out to be everything I'd hoped it would be. Like, I've got to play on the biggest stages against like some of the toughest competitors and go to a really competitive academic school. And it's just been a blessing. I had no idea it was gonna be this much fun. Um, yeah, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's been out to support. Thank you for to all the little girls that, you know, wanted my autograph after the game, made me feel super cool and, um, yeah, all of the people who I've talked to over the years and some I recognize and know their names and they know mine. It's just been a lot. The Richmond community just makes it so much more fun and all the energy at the Robin Center. I'll never forget it. Okay, well, thank you again. And that is Claire Holtz. And this is Legacy Maker Sports Network. Awesome. Thank you. No problem.